Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be taking a look at a knife that I've been easily seeing for a couple of weeks now. Uh, I actually met up with the representative from this company while I was at Blade Show. Uh, this is actually a company by the name of TACCOM. Now um, I went by their booth and I saw some of their new knives and I saw this particular knife and I really, really liked it. Um, at the time, I just didn't have the funds in order to be able to pick one up, but um, I gave my card to the guy and then he reached out and asked if I'd be interested in reviewing some of their knives. And um, I specifically asked for this guy and then another one that I had seen as well, which I'll be doing a video on that one as well. Um, and they went ahead and sent them out so I can check them out. So thank you so much for TACCOM for sending them out. I'll leave a link to their site below in case you guys are interested in checking out this knife and all of the specs and stuff like that or any of the other knives that they do carry because I think they make some really, really awesome knives. Now, Tacom um, uh, specializes in out-the-front knives. And as you know, um, there's a big line between super cheap out-the-front knives and super expensive out-the-front knives. Uh, there's a, this big area right in the middle there. And it's very difficult to um, kind of ascertain if the ones in the middle there are going to be any good. So a lot of people tend to think that at the front, you have to go towards the more expensive side in order for them to be good. And I can tell you that this knife is just as good as any of the really expensive knives, but at a fraction of the cost. So this one here is actually called the Hornet. And the Hornet is available in two different blade styles. You either have a spear point blade style, which is your traditional kind of double-edged dagger style um, uh, style knife or um, this one here is available also in Warncliffe so I went with the Warncliffe because that's the one that kind of caught my eye I've got a couple other spear point uh, or dagger style blades so I decided to go with these um, the Warncliffe so it comes in this really nice um, kind of thick heavy-duty case here um, you have a little area right here if you wanted to throw a lanyard or something or a carabiner to attach it but if not you just pop these um, the little section there and it opens up and inside is the knife now another really cool thing that they do drop in there is you have a couple of extra screws um, in black which are the ones that are on here but if you wanted to change the colors you do get silver screws also so if you wanted to change it out change out all your screws to kind of match the um, button right here you can go ahead and do that or if not you can just leave the black ones that are in there and they do um, send some extra black ones in case you need them so that is really really cool let's take the box off to the side and we'll take a look at the knife here again this is called the hornet now um, i like this model because of its size um, it wasn't too big as you guys can see it in my hand here it's not overly big but it feels so good in the hands um, it's perfect size for me for my size hands I normally wear a large size glove and this fits really really nice in my hand now the other thing that I was really interested in is I like the fact that this has a switch on the face of the knife itself as opposed to on the side now I was reading up on their site and what's really cool about it is unfortunately not the one one clip version but the um, spear point or the dagger style one because the switch is on the face that actually makes the knife ambidextrous so a left-handed person can also use it without having to worry about switching the clip because unfortunately on this particular model because you have the switch on the face um, you're not able to switch the clip so the clip comes set up this way now again that's the spear point one and the one cliff because obviously you only have the blade on one side you can carry it left-handed also, and you can activate it left-handed, but in order to use the cutting side, you would have to have it on your right hand. So that's just something that I wanted to note that they did have on their website. Now, what's really cool is that uh, it's uh, the body is, uh, um, what is this? The body is aluminum, so it's very sturdy, very lightweight. And then you also have a um, kind of inset carbon fiber drop in right in there, which looks really, really cool. You also have it on the other side, but it is complete the um, length of the body of the knife itself. The clip is nice. Uh, it writes fairly deep. Um, you don't have to worry about too much sticking up from the knife itself from your pocket. And you do have their logo kind of printed on the clip right there. Um, you have a built-in lanyard hole. So if you wanted to throw a lanyard on here, um, I would probably say uh, maybe like a decorative lanyard. It is. It doesn't need to have that extra um, kind of grab uh, area that lanyards can sometimes offer for smaller size knives. 
Um, but if you wanted to throw something decorative there to kind of match the carbon fiber, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, the button material is aluminum as well. And then the clip itself is stainless steel. Now I like the, um, just the, the different milling work that you have on the sides right here, because it does give you a little bit more grip again, as you're holding the knife to deploy it. Now, one of the things that I really love about this knife is that the way that it deploys, it just flies out there and it just feels so sturdy. Um, it doesn't feel cheap at all as you would with some of the lower end um, out the front. So I'll go ahead and deploy the knife now. And there you go. So check out that Warncliffe blade. It looks so, so cool. Um, it's very utilitarian. Again, a lot of folks tend to think that um, you cannot use an out the front knife as an EDC knife. I'm here to tell you that this particular knife, because of how um, how great it feels in the hand, um, there is the slightest of blade play as you would find with a lot of out the fronts just because of the nature of what they are. Um, but I can easily see myself using this and I have used this for majority of EDC tasks, opening up packages and stuff like that, especially a one cliff blade like this you do have a straight blade right at the bottom there um but uh the satin finish is really nice on the blade itself and then just the actual look of it uh again it's called the hornet it's named after the insect and um i think this adds a little bit more to the name of the insect itself blade stock is fairly thick which is nice so you're not getting a super thin blade so again it's going to be able to hold up to a lot of EDC tasks that you're going to be putting it through. Um, the blade length is 2.75 inches. So again, just a little bit under three inches. So perfect for most EDC tasks. Uh, the handle is 4.25 inches. So you have an overall length of seven inches even. Um, this comes in at 2.92 ounces. So again, very, very lightweight, and that's uh, thanks to that aluminum body, um, but it feels really, really nice in the hand. And I don't know if you guys heard that pop when I retracted the blade, but check out, um, I'll go ahead and open it and close it again so you guys can hear that it, it flies out there and, um, and retracts with authority. So here we go. And again, if you've never used an out the front knife, Super, super fidgety. The fidget factor on these knives is great. I can sit here and do this all day and you know, it's not gonna, it hasn't misfired once since I've actually been using it for a couple weeks now and it just feels and looks really, really nice. Uh, one last thing I wanted to mention, blade material. Again, that's very important with uh, knives and that is, I don't know if you guys can make it out, 154 cm. So again, you're getting a little bit better steel on the blade. Uh, again, for EDC tasks, it's gonna retain its um, sharpness, but it's also gonna be um, easier to resharpen if you need to. You get a wicked, wicked acute point right there. So again, piercing packages, opening up packages and stuff like that is gonna be very, very easy. And again, as I mentioned, because the switch is on the top, you can use it left-handed, but as you see, the um, blade is on the top, so you would have to actually rotate the knife in your hand to be able to do that. So if you are left-handed and you are kind of liking this particular model, I would definitely recommend that you pick up the um, spear point option, because again, you're gonna get the same exact model. The only difference is the blade shape is gonna be that spear point, which is the double edge. So again, as you open it up left-handed, you'll have an edge on either side, so you can go ahead and use that. So um, a lot of folks tend to think that um, you should carry like out the front knives and stuff like that for personal protection and stuff like that. I'm here to tell you that um, I've been carrying this knife for EDC purposes and it's served me well. Obviously a little bit of stigma when you whip this out and you know fire the blade and people look at it and stuff like that. But you know if I'm cutting open a box or something like that, um, mail or whatnot, you know you can cut paracord, cordage, whatever you would normally do with your EDC knives this particular knife is going to be able to handle that and it's going to handle it very, very well. So uh, I was pleasantly surprised with this knife at Blade Show uh, when I was handling it at the booth and I was even more surprised when I got it in and I started using it for everyday tasks, and carrying it and stuff like that. It carries very easy in the pocket. It's nice and slim, um, but it still has enough girth that when you have it in your hands, it's not going to feel flimsy like some of the other either cheaper end um, out the front knives or some of your more expensive out the front knives that have a um, kind of thinner body or thinner stock blade that you feel like, you know, if I started using this a little too heavy, it's gonna break. 
this particular knife, I have not felt that not even once. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys because I think it is a great option, especially if you're not um, into out the front, maybe you're trying to look into getting them. I wanted to try one with the switch on the face. I have some with the switch on the sides. And after a while, that does get a little difficult to be able to fire and retract, especially if you wanted to fidget with it. For some reason, because I can put my kind of like thumb all on top of the switch right here, I just move my thumb back and forth, as opposed to pushing it with the, the tip of my thumb, I'm using the pad of my thumb to be able to deploy and retract the blade. So great, great fidget factor on there. And my thumb definitely thanks me for it not being sore, uh, with it, which is the case with some of the ones that have to switch on the side. So I did want to try that. And I wanted something that was small, very easy to carry, easy to conceal. Again, if I wanted to use this kind of like in a, in a coat pocket or something like that as a gentleman's carry, I can see myself using this very well that way as well. But it lives very nicely in my cargo shorts or jeans if I use it for a everyday tasks as well. So there it is, a look at the um, Hornet model, this one being in the Warncliffe Blade style from TACCOM. Again, I'll leave a link to their site below if you guys are interested in checking them out. But if not, let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.